If Call of Duty and Minecraft had a child, it would absolutely be this game. This game is absolutely legendary, and to be honest with you, I actually think it has some of the best gunplay in any game. Even some of the AAA super good graphics games, the shooting is actually really good in this game. This game is called Pixel Strike 3D. I think originally it used to actually be a mobile game, but now they've ported it onto the PC on Steam. So this is Gun Game. This is my favorite game. So if you've ever played Call of Duty or Counter Strike, you would have absolutely played Gun Game. And basically, you start off with really bad weapons like pistols. And then you ascend to a better weapon the more kills you get. The best strategy about this game is literally just bunny hopping around. Wait, how the heck did he get up on there? Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. Um, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god, that shotgun has long range, bro. Oh, he stole my kill. There we go. Oh no! This is the absolute worst weapon. It's literally a water gun. You cannot get a kill with his water gun. You have to literally be like one centimeter away from him to do like one damage with it. Look, you have to literally, you have to literally be in the gut. Like, and then the clip is like terribly small. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did we level up? Oh, we, okay, we got a kill. Okay, thankfully. Thankfully, you only need one kill with that weapon to actually get level up. The worst trap ever is being on that water gun and then not being able to actually get a kill. And also, if you get knived on this game, you level, you actually level down. So after you've gone past that water gun stage, you do not want to get knifed in the back and then derank to it again. Because that's like literally your worst nightmare. This is the anti-camp map, which I guess is a good thing. This guy's got the right idea. He's just camping on there. Okay, we've got the auto shotgun, boys. Now, that's a nice one. That's super easy to get a kill with. Sometimes you just get hit from absolutely nowhere and you just can't see them. Like, I got a random damage indicator when no one was even shooting me. Look at this guy. He's literally spawned. We're going to shoot him as soon as he spawns. He's not paying attention. Okay, maybe that didn't work. Oh, okay, we got him. They should honestly remove this water gun because it's absolute pants. I hate this thing. Like, you could be against the worst player and they're still going to beat you. Okay, we took our time a little bit. We got a kill there, boys. Oh, he was so close to knifing me. Why is everyone going in the house? Why are they not going outside? Okay, I'm getting the hang of it now. I'm getting my mojo back. Or so I thought. <laughs> that was easy because there's like such a clump of them. I honestly love the Tech 9 on games. I've got a literal blunderbuss here. Look at that. Literal pirate gun. Look at these skins, bro. This neon skin. Hello, my friend. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy's gonna stay at range. He knows he doesn't want to get close to me, even with a water gun. Oh, it was not a good idea to drop, my friend. How did I nearly lose that fight? Now, there's a few other game modes on this game. I'll try and show you some after. I think there's like a zombie survival mode. There's like a team deathmatch mode. I prefer the free frawls and the gun game because it's like you don't have to rely on a terrible team. Oh God, two sides. They're coming from two sides. The iron sights of this gun are not going to cut it. Oh my god, that took long enough. So you've got competitive mode, so that's like CSGO's competitive. You can even see they kind of ripped off the style a bit. Quick play just throws you in any old random game. Custom games is cool, because that's where we have things like gun game, diffusal, free throws, TDM mode. But casual has a whole bunch of cool stuff. So we've got dinner party, which I think is kind of like a Cluedo game. I think you have to figure out like who's like the bad guy. We have training mode for noobs, party mix, which has some cool stuff. Infected, which is zombies, which I think we might play now. Okay, so we've got a few classes here. This is pretty sweet. Recon. Okay, let's go recon. Oh, man. So I've spawned as a zombie. This is not good. So at the start of any game, you have like two or three zombies and then everyone else is survivors. So if they've got a red text on them, they're probably a survivor. Wait, how many times? Okay, I've infected him, right? So it takes like three hits and then you infect someone. And then as you slowly infect everyone, it's kind of self expansion right? You have like a million zombies at the end of the game. And there was just like one dude surviving against all of them. Oh my God, that's smart to go on top of a car. Oh, this guy's... Come on. <laughs> I got a headshot with a punch. That's how accurate we were. Oh, look at these rubber duckies. So these green little dots basically signify the zombies' positions. And these guys are on the roof. I have no clue how we got on the roof. Is there like an elevator? Surely there's something I'm missing. There might be like an elevator. Those guys are going to be up for a long time until we can get on the roof. Yeah, look, there's no way we're getting up there. This dude dropped though. That was the greatest mistake of his life. I just yeeted him. As long as they don't drop off, I think they've actually got this win in the bag. Unless these steps... Wait, do these steps... Let's, let's follow these 
these hallways. Maybe we can find a way up. They've got to have done some like sick parkour to get up there. They know something I don't know. Let's put it that way. Oh, wait, is this a ladder? Oh, I thought that was a secret ladder. I was like, if I could go up the secret ladder, bro, don't stand in the open and get yourself killed as a zombie. Look at this dude just chilling in the corner. He doesn't he doesn't even want to play the game. Okay, there's got to have been some kind of parkour. I'm thinking they jumped on the hedge and then jumped up here or something. Maybe maybe you guys in the comments can tell me like how they got up there. Oh, look, look in the top right. The time is like five seconds. There's no chance. They pro wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they climbed on this definitely and went up the tree. Imagine if Minecraft brought out like a squid game mode. This is basically what this is. It's like CSGO mixed with Minecraft with Call of Duty with Roblox. It's like a crazy mix. I want one of these skins. These suits are so cool off Squid Game. I can't wear them. This is Death Run. So we're on this map called the Nexus. There wasn't any players on Squid Game. Don't know if there's going to be any players on Death Run either. But this is Death Run. Like we have some kind of Super Mario or Sonic map. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that's so cool. The lobby's like Minecraft parkour. Wait, let's see if I can actually do this course. Okay, maybe not. So we jump from here, and then we jump up here. Okay. I didn't know there was a parkour course. I wish there was a parkour course in the other lobby, and then we wouldn't have to wait. Okay, boom. Let's go. So the death run's like a parkour course. Usually in Death Run, you have like some ghost guy who's trying to kill you at the same time. I guess Death Run on Pixel Strikes just parkour. Now you can see I'm very like average or mediocre at parkour because I didn't really play it on Minecraft. But if you're good at Minecraft parkour, this is going to be the mode you're probably going to play. I prefer the FPS shooter mode. I can imagine we're going to get like loads of leafy clones who like used to play CSGO Surf and now just going to play like Pixel Strike parkour and just make like YouTube commentaries with it. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm nearly at the checkpoint. Oh, I nearly got there, boys. But that's Pixel Strike 3D. Pretty cool game. If you want me to play more of it, let me know in the comments. And I'll definitely play some more. Maybe if you want to see me like play a different mode or see if we can find people in Squid Game. Squid Game seems kind of dead today, so I haven't been able to get a lobby. But this is actually fun. I've got quite a few hours in this game. So if you do want me to play more of it, let me know. And subscribe. And apparently, I just managed to finish that course. So let's try our luck one more time. No! Oh, damn. Wait, this is actually really well designed. Okay, we just made it. Okay, I'm kind of getting hooked. <laughs> I was going to close out, but let's just try a look one more time. So we've got one more life. I don't know what these stars are. I don't know if they're going to shoot any lasers at me or something. This reminds me of that game Mario Galaxy on, like, I think it was the Nintendo Wii. So this is all about balance, right? So the first one's, like, a parkour course. Then it's about balance. And I don't know if I should be going this fast because I don't think speed really does anything. Okay, we're at the next checkpoint. Okay, this is where it gets hard. Okay, so we've got one more life. We're just going to fail the first time. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I underestimated my parkour abilities. I'm a little bit better than I thought. So you need some momentum. Boom. Okay, I can understand why people like get a little bit addicted to Minecraft parkour. Because when you get some kind of like success. Okay, wait, what am I doing here? Oh, oh, okay. So I have to jump down there, walk across here. Jump down there, walk across the path. And if you go on the red... You die and you respawn. Okay, that's interesting. And if you go on the spike, you also die. <laughs> okay, we have to... Sw Wait, what the heck? Okay, I really don't get that puzzle. Do I jump here? Oh. <gasps> oh, okay, I follow this path. This path signifies the path that's below me. Okay, that's trippy. That is really trippy. I like it, though. This game... Okay, this game's pretty cool. I've never played this. So I'm just, like, going super... I'm going super careful on this. Okay, now there's going to be a gap there. So I have to jump... And then we go through. Okay, boom. Here, I guess I just... I jump down here and then I have to go through the gaps. <gasps> oh my god, that's so hard. Through. Okay. Enter. This is frustrating. I, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, this is the most frustrating challenge out of all of them. Oh my god. We have a timer. Oh no, we don't have a timer. I think that just shows us like our speed record. No. Oh! Okay, I, I think I'm tired of this already, but that's Pixel Strike. I think we can say that I did pretty good, right?